Qdoba Mexican Eats Qdoba is a chain of fast casual restaurants in the United States and Canada serving Mexican style cuisine. The company operated as a wholly owned subsidiary of Jack in the Box after its purchase from ACI Capital, Western Growth Capital, and other private investors in 2003. In December 2017, a consortium of funds led by Apollo Global Management announced the purchase of the Qdoba chain for approximately $305 million. At the time of the announcement, Qdoba had approximately 700 restaurants in 47 states. History This chain traces its origins to the opening of the Zuma Fresh Mexican Grill in 1995 by Colorado native Anthony Miller and partner Robert Hausa at Grant Street and 6th Avenue in Denver which is still in operation. Miller and Hausa met in New York City, where Miller was an investment banker with Merrill Lynch when Hausa was attending the Culinary Institute of America and working at the famed Le Cirque restaurant. Hausa developed most of the recipes and tried to design the menu to be healthier by replacing the use of traditional animal fats with vegetable oils and tried to use more fresh vegetables and herbs when he could. During the first year, lines stretched out the door during most evenings at dinner time, but it usually took roughly seven minutes for customers in a 30-person line to get served. Zuma was a made-up name but was also the name of a friend's cat, the Denver, Colorado. Location was an immediate success, with first-year revenues exceeding $1,500,000. The cost of opening the 1,300-square-foot store had been only $180,000. In 1997, the name of the company was changed from Zuma to Z Teca Mexican Grill because of a lawsuit from another restaurant using the Zuma name in Boston and confusion caused by the similar sounding Zuzu handmade Mexican grill chain that was operating in the Denver area at that time. During the same year, Z Teca began to offer franchise opportunities to entrepreneurs to expand the chain outside of its core territory of Colorado. In exchange for a large stake, Western Capital and other investors gave the company a large infusion of capital in early 1998 to allow the company to open 25 new locations and nearly triple its size. Later that year, Gary Beisler was hired in 1998 to replace Miller as president and chief operating officer while Miller remained as chief executive officer. By mid-1998, Z-Teca had 21 locations in nine states, with 10 of those locations being franchises. At that time, a chicken burrito cost only $4.79. By December 1999, Z-Teca had 49 locations in 19 states. Even though Z-Teca was another made-up name, there were lawsuits made by Zatiha's Southwestern Grill in Arizona and Azteca in Washington State that the Z-Teca name was too similar to their names and it infringed on their trade names. To overcome these problems, the name Qdoba was invented in 1999 by ad agency Heckler Associates. At the time of the name change to Qdoba Mexican Grill, Gary Beisler replaced Miller as CEO. Jack in the Box paid $45 million in cash to obtain the Wheat Ridge based Qdoba from ACI Capital, Western Growth Capital, and other private investors in early 2003. In October 2012, Beisler announced his retirement and was replaced the following March by Tim Casey. Three years later, Casey was replaced by Keith Guilbeau in May 2016. In 2014, Qdoba moved its headquarters from its its longtime home in Wheat Ridge to nearby Lakewood. A little over two years later, San Diego-based corporate parent Jack in the Box decided to integrate Qdoba's headquarters into Jack in the Box's main headquarters in California starting in January 2017. Topic. Growth As of 2013, Qdoba operates over 600 fast casual restaurant locations throughout the United States. The first Canadian location opened on December 3, 2012, in Brandon, Manitoba. A second location was opened in London, Ontario, three months later. A third location opened in Winnipeg in 2014. Qdoba repurchased 25 stores located in Kentucky, Indiana, and Tennessee from ZT of Louisville, Inc., one its largest franchisees, for an undisclosed sum in mid-2012. Tim Casey replaced Gary Beisler as CEO in March 2013. 
In June 2013, Qdoba announced it would close a total of 67 underperforming restaurants, including 18 in and around Chicago. In October 2014, Qdoba changed their price structure to all inclusive, in which the price only depended on the type of protein $7.80 for chicken or vegetarian items and $8.40 for steak, shredded beef, or pork, but included all of the extras that previously incurred an additional charge, such as guacamole and queso sauce. Most people who routinely ordered the extras with their burritos did not see much of a price difference after the new prices went into effect. However, light eaters complained that if they wanted to maintain their light eating habits by getting a simple plain item, they were hit with as much as a $2 per item price increase. As an example, the Kraft 2 which went up to $8.40 from $6.49 by paying for items they did not choose to get like the guacamole, subsidizing other customers who usually paid for the extras. In the past and, if they chose to get the extras which they normally don't get, those light eaters would increase their waistline through the increased intake of calories, fat, and salt that usually accompanied those extras. Faced with sluggish growth, management decided to make a change in their marketing strategy. As part of the new strategy, the trade name of the restaurants was changed to Qdoba Mexican Eats in October 2015 in the hope of trying to distinguish itself from similar sounding competitors. By July 2016, the company had 650 restaurants in 47 states, the District of Columbia, and Canada. Fair Qdoba serves burritos made in the San Francisco burrito style, and other foods such as tacos, quesadillas, chili con queso and Mexican gumbo. The restaurant fits into the fast casual category, offering both quick service and a higher quality of food than typical fast food restaurants. Customers order by selecting an entree then choosing its ingredients. All of the items are made in plain view of the customer. The chain's current slogan is, We live food. To distinguish itself from some of its competitors, Qdoba serves breakfast, and some locations are open 24 hours on weekends. Qdoba has also opened restaurants in non-traditional locations, such as directly on college campuses, and participates in some college meal plans. Topic: <laughs> Competition. The main national rivals to Qdoba are Chipotle Mexican Grill which also started in Denver, two years before Qdoba, Baja Fresh, Moe's Southwest Grill and, to a lesser extent, Panchero's Mexican Grill. In 2006, the company was involved in a lawsuit in which Panera Bread attempted to invoke a clause in Panera's contract with the White City Shopping Center in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, to stop the opening of a Qdoba Mexican Grill. The clause provided that Panera would be the only sandwich shop in the shopping center. Panera argued that burritos and other tortilla-based foods were, in fact, sandwiches. Superior Court Judge Jeffrey Locke ruled against Panera, concluding, A sandwich is not commonly understood to include burritos, tacos and quesadillas, which are typically made with a single tortilla and stuffed with a choice filling of meat, rice, and beans. However, the Qdoba in Shrewsbury has since closed, while Moe's Southwest Grill and Chipotle Mexican Grill remain open across the street. But Qdoba revived and opened with Whole Foods in Lakeway Commons which is also in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, to keep up with its competition, especially Chipotle Mexican Grill, and to draw more families. Qdoba introduced a kids' menu in December 2009. See also. List of Mexican restaurants